everyone, Sam here from SugarSpunRun.com. Today I want to show you how to make a pineapple upside down cake completely from scratch. To start, you're going to need a 9 inch pie dish or you're going to need a 9 inch deep dish cake pan. And go ahead and add a quarter cup of melted butter. Make sure to coat the bottoms and the sides of your pie plate. Now sprinkle a half cup of brown sugar evenly over the butter. Next comes the pineapple slices. I used canned pineapple slices, but you can certainly use fresh. If you use canned, you're going to want to drain off the liquid and then take your slices and arrange them evenly over the bottom of your prepared pie plate. And cut your remaining pineapple slices in half and press them up the gaps in the side of your pie plate. Now you'll need your maraschino cherries. Press one into the center of each pineapple ring and then go ahead and place them wherever you'd like in any other gaps. Now let's set your prepared pie dish aside. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to make our vanilla cake portion of this pineapple upside down cake. For the vanilla cake portion of this recipe, you're going to want to start with a half cup of unsalted butter. You want this to be softened to room temperature. Go ahead and add this to a large bowl and add 3 quarters cups of granulated sugar. Go ahead and beat these together until they're well creamed. You want your mixture to be creamy, light and fluffy and well combined. Next we'll add the eggs. This recipe calls for two large eggs. Add them one at a time, beating well after each addition. Next, stir in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now let's set this aside and prepare your dry ingredients. You're going to need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and then add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and stir these together until they're well combined. All right, now bring back your wet ingredients and we're going to add your dry mixture and we're also going to add some milk. You'll need a half cup of milk for this recipe. For starters, you'll add some of your flour mi mixture to your batter and go ahead and stir that in. I prefer to stir this in by hand because you don't want to overmix your cake or it can come out too dry. So go ahead and stir that in. And once your flour mixture has been incorporated just enough, go ahead and add some milk. Stir that again. And then add more flour mixture and repeat this until all of your dry ingredients and all of your milk have been combined. Alright, once you have a smooth batter, now we're going to pour this into our prepared pie dish. Go ahead and pour this over the pineapples. Now we're ready to bake our pineapple upside down cake. You're going to want to bake this in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes, but you're not done there. The cake has a tendency for the outside to brown before the inside is finished baking. So at the 30 minute mark, you're going to carefully add some aluminum foil, loosely tenting it over your pineapple upside down cake, just like this. Don't do that until you hit the 30 minute mark. Once you cover your cake with foil, bake it for another 15 minutes on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That should be enough to fully cook your pineapple upside down cake, but a good way to test it is to take a toothpick and insert it in the center of the cake and make sure that it doesn't come back with any wet batter. That's how you know it's done. After your cake is finished baking, go ahead and remove the foil and allow it to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then after it's cooled, take a large platter and go ahead and place that over your pie plate and invert your pineapple upside down cake. We're going to let this cool for a little bit longer before cutting into our pineapple upside down cake and enjoying it. But don't wait too long because I think this cake tastes best while it's still warm. Once it's cooled, you can go ahead and slice and serve. And that is how you make this beautiful, completely from scratch, pineapple upside down cake. I think you guys are going to love this recipe. I really love how easy it is and how so deliciously soft and moist this vanilla cake base is. So if you guys try this recipe, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time.